Welcome to Training Marks Java Coding Challenges Series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is checking whether the given number is a perfect number or not. So, let us understand the logic. First, we'll try to understand what is a perfect number. So, this program is just an extension to the previous program. In previous program, we understood how to find out factors for a given number. Example, if you go through our previous program, we calculated the factors for a given number and then we identified that 1, 2, 5, 10 are the factor numbers. Factors for the given 10. So now what is a perfect number is, by definition, the perfect number is a number whose sum of factors is actually is a given number example suppose you take uh, 6 so when you take 6 what are the prime uh, what are the factors for this 6 1 2 3 6 are the factors so but when you're calculating the perfect number apart from this actual number example apart from 6 so if you consider other numbers other factors like 1 2 3 if you perform the addition of this it should give the original number 6 example 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is going to be 6 nothing but the original number so a perfect number by definition is is a number the sum of its factors excluding that number should give the actual number itself so that is what you give it you give it as a perfect number so programmatically how you are going to do it now the programmatically so it is quite similar to the previous program. Now what we are going to do is, suppose if the given number, example here I am taking 6, so but now from 1 to 6, instead of taking from 1 to 6, what now we need to do? Now we need to take a loop from 1 to 5 because we need to exclude this number, given number. So now for from 1 to the number minus 1, we need to check each and every number if it is divisible, example 6 divisible by 1, the remainder is going to 0 then I need to consider this one as a factor like this 6 reminder 2 that is the remainder is equal to 0 then I need to consider this number then 6 reminder 3 again the remainder is going to 0 then I need to consider this as the factor but 6 reminder 4 is not 0 so I don't need to consider this and then 6 reminder 5 and again it is not going to 0 so I don't need to consider this so again I don't need to consider 6 because for perfect number we need to exclude the actual number so the sum of these three like one two three now actually gives the same number then i can say six is a prime number so this is what the logic to check whether the given number is a prime number or not let us write the code for this in eclipse so let me open my eclipse now i'm going to create a new class under my package selecting new java class now here I'm going to write the class name as perfect number program or whatever perfect number test case. Now I'm selecting my main method click on finish. Now I'm deleting this line. Now again I'll take the number as an input so I'm taking my scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner of system.in then we need to import our scanner class then here I'm writing one SOP statement to say enter number so this number I'm going to take it an input integer number is equal to scanner dot next int now so first I need to find out the factors for this given number excluding that number then we need to perform the sum so same as our previous code I'm now going to take the sum as 0 and then now here I'm going to take for integer variable i is equal to 1 then here i less than that number we don't put i less than or equal to because I need to exclude the number then I need to say i plus plus now I'll say if the number reminder i is equal to 0 then I need to perform sum is equals to sum plus i so now this is what our sum so I don't need to print factors here I don't need to print the sum now simply what I need to do after this loop ends now I need to check if the sum value equals to the number 
a given number then I'll say the given number is is perfect number else we'll say system dot out dot println the number is not a perfect number so this is what our logic so let us run the program so it is now asking me to enter the input let me enter 6 so and then enter now it says that 6 is perfect number so let me run the other numbers example 10 10 is not a perfect number so this is is a simple logic